Maglab presents Take Two Series Marker. So hi Hannah. Hi Kristen. Um, tell me, what are you up to at the Maglab? So at the Magnet Lab, we're using the EMR facility and we're using Hyper, which is a high power uh, pulsed EMR spectrometer to look at metalloproteins. Okay, EMR? Uh, electron magnetic resonance. Okay. And what kind of materials are you studying in EMR and in Hyper in particular? So we're studying a protein that uh, has an iron center and a manganese center. And we're really excited about this protein or interested in this protein because it's found in tuberculosis but it's found uh, in strains of tuberculosis that are pathogenic and, and virulent. And so it's correlated with the virulence of the organism, and we're trying to understand what this protein does and why it's so important for the organism uh, to survive. Fascinating. So you're basically using the EMR facility to learn more about tuberculosis. Yes. A protein. Uh, fundamentally, we are more of a fundamental group, but yes, a protein found in tuberculosis that uh, we're trying to understand basically how how this protein works. Fascinating. So, what um, what's your what's your hypothesis about it? What do you think? So I think uh, this protein uses manganese and iron instead of two iron centers uh, to get around the host immune response. Mm -hmm. So your, one of your primary immune responses uh, when some bacterium invades mm -hmm. is to withhold all of the iron because bacteria need iron. Mm -hmm. So if bacteria can evolve a way to replace one of the irons with manganese, then they have uh, enhanced fitness for, for survival. Fascinating. Well, thanks. That's all we have time for today, but I'm so interested to learn more about your research. Thank you. Megalab presents Take Two Series Marker. Hi, Anna. Um, I'm Ryan. Hi, nice Ryan. To meet nice you. to meet you. Hi. Um, I'm really interested to hear about the research that you're doing this week at the Maglab. Uh, so the research that we're doing is work in the EMR facility using the high power, high field pulsed EMR spectrometer called Hyper uh, to look at metalloproteins. So a big part of my group looks at proteins that contain metals in them and we use different types of spectroscopy to understand what those metals do within the protein. Uh, and so one of the types of spectroscopy is the EMR spectroscopy that we're doing here. I see. So um, can you tell me a little bit about whether or not um, these types of uh, molecules um, are occurring in nature and where you find them? These, these are naturally occurring molecules. They're naturally occurring proteins and the one that we're studying here is actually really, we're really interested in it because it's found in tuberculosis but only uh, in virulent strains of tuberculosis. So it's thought to correlate with the virulence of the organism or the pathogenicity and because tuberculosis is such a major problem around the world, if we can understand different factors that help uh, these organisms survive in hosts, then we might be able to start addressing uh, that from a new angle. So when it occurs in, um, in nature, in tuberculosis, does it have the metal center or is it some sort of version that doesn't have that present? So it picks up the metal centers from its environment. And so organisms, all organisms, have a way to get metals from the environment. Metals are critical for all kinds of life, like all forms of life depend on metal ions. And so tuberculosis picks up these metals. Uh, and the cool thing about our protein is that rather than have two irons, uh, like most of its related sort of neighbors, it has an iron and a manganese. Mm. And one of the first things that a host does as an immune response is to really starve the pathogen of iron. So if these pathogens have a way to withhold the iron, uh, or rather use something other than iron in place of iron, uh, then they can do much better or have uh, greater fitness. Oh, sounds like we're out of time. Uh, thanks for the interesting explanation. Uh, for more uh, information on Hannah's research, please visit this web link.